in uh, looking for a broker, successtrader.com, guys. That's, that's our new preferred broker. You get actually a uh, great commission, 002 per share, with a rebate of 0025 if you use the MIC route, guys. So I'm not going to go into too much of that. We talk about that all the time. You can find more information online, successtrader.com. That is our new uh, broker partnership. But anyways... Uh, the reason I want to talk about well, well, welcome back, guys. Each Tuesday we do an IG live at eleven fifteen market time. Uh, Alex does his at eleven on Mondays um, at eleven a.m. These are all market time. Tonight, which is Tuesday, Joe Kelly does a large cap and options trading webinar uh, later tonight for MIC members at seven p.m. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tosh and I will do a new member orientation at 2 p.m. market time. Thursday, Aloha has his trading strategy webinar at 7 p.m. And then uh, weekend mentoring is on Saturday. I think we did one last week, so we do every other week. But man, you see that, guys? Education really never stops. I was talking to the guys before I actually got on IG Live about plans of like, think of this as college, guys. You. You have homework, homework, and classwork. So homework are watching videos, MIC videos. And classwork is the day, uh, real-time trading. Just look at it. You don't have to trade. Uh, be in MIC chat room. We, I, I, comment, I, comment, I comment every fucking pretty much all the moves, guys. I trade pretty much all the moves, uh, small caps. Uh, we have a dedicated large cap room as well and an options room, guys. So education doesn't really stop <laughs> just because the market ends. We... We have webinars. We have this is a full blown. My my goal, our goal is to turn MIC into an alternative for college guys. College will cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of you guys will never, never make any money because you know you're you're never gonna find a job. But uh, so this is a cheaper alternative. Cheaper doesn't mean worse. It just means more. It's it's just a different option that you guys can have. I went to college, guys. I advocate going to college. Uh, I went to a a. Um, California State uh, University, so my tuition wasn't that bad. Um, if you go to private school, you will get destroyed in fees. So um, we don't talk about that. But um, I guess we can start now. My topic I want to talk about is how. First of all, um, I post all my trades, guys, um, to the chat room, into MIC. So if you don't see any charts from Twitter from me, that means doesn't mean I didn't trade. It may mean I didn't trade. But it made me, I'm just tired of posting on online, guys. The reason I'm talking about Twitter is because I, I, I post all my charts ugly, as ugly as they can be, and I still post them, right, guys? Because trading is not a perfect thing. Sometimes we get emotional. Sometimes we add to a loser. Sometimes we do all these things. I am not a robot. I'm not an algo. I'm not going to be a perfect trader. But, you know, man, I've been making money for all these decades. I've been doing okay. I've mentored a lot of people to millions of dollars of financial freedom. I never talk about that, but you know who you are. I've I've taught a lot of big guys. I, in turn, taught more big guys. I'm like the, I'm your guru's guru, <laughs> right? That's what I joke about. I'm your guru. I'm an old man. Um, I'm having fucking gray hair now, see? I'm just glad I still have hair. Um... So I want to talk about Twitter, guys. Twitter is social media. And with anything in social media, you can use it to your advantage or let it ruin your life. Okay? You can use it to your advantage or let it ruin your life. So a lot of the people, though, they get caught up in Twitter drama and, and social media drama. They go to the comment section. They love reading drama. They love writing stupid shit because you're being anonymous. And that, that's just going to hurt you. So I wanted to segue into that because I post charts and, and we talk about the zombie rule. We talk all this stuff. And there's a lot of people out there, smart or not, that goes against and said that just hates on us everything that happens, right? And it's a combination of things. It may be because it's not based on science or whatever. It's not back-tested by them. They don't think it works. But you know what, man? Everybody does things differently, guys. That's that's the beauty of trading. There, You can have a, a million different ways to make money on the same stock. How you enter, how you exit, how the theoretical, just whatever it is, it's your system. But the difference is this. Our system, our process is repeatable. It's proven. It's scalable. It works. Look at Alex. Look at the members. I mean, this the 
the breakdown of our system is the user, is the operator, is the guy that clicks the button. You have FOMO. Every time I review a chart and people are losing money, they ask me why. And I look at their chart because you have FOMO. You, you enter way too soon, you know, and then you hold on to the loss and you don't, you don't take your stop loss. So if you take a look at my charts, sometimes I, you know, sometimes I do perfect trades. So my chart looks fantastic. Other times it looks like a mess. But you know what, man? I have my risk parameters in place. We talk about all the time, max daily risk at the broker level. I set it to the ticker level so that even if I mess up and I become emotional, I'm doing it. I have open orders right now, guys. I have open orders open. If they hit, they hit. I call them those fantasy orders. We teach about that. But let's say it goes parabolic. I'm not there. I have a safety mechanism for me to exit. It's called it's called the the auto liquidator, you know, uh, routine over at the broker level. So it's a success trader, you can call them up, email them, say, hey, set up the max daily loss if you want at the ticker level as well. You know, whatever it is, it will take you out of the position. It's called auto liquidate. And that is what's making me so happy these days because I don't have to worry about blowing up my entire account. I can set it to two days of wins. So I, so my tickers are set at, at max loss of two days. So I can lose two days of the, at my average wins, right guys? Whatever it, it may be. So if your average win is, uh, let's say your average is $100 that you want to make a day, right? That's your average goal. So you set up the max daily loss auto liquidation at 200 bucks. Whatever it may be, right? If it's a thousand, you set up at 2,000. If it, or 5,000, it's up to you, right? But the key is you do not, you do not worry about blowing up because it will take you out of the position, guys. So, so the first thing is you always have to set your your account to to be able to never blow up, never blow up, unless it's you that's blowing it up because you are circumventing. I have people that are calling up the broker, asking them to remove that. And that's just stupid. It's it's like turning off your traction control and, and, and ABS brakes on your car because you want to do donuts and shit, right? Turning off your traction control to do donuts. And then you, you fucking flip your car when you try to do donuts because you turned off the safety mechanism of the damn car. The traction control should not be turned off. People turn off to do racing and shit like that, right, guys? And so the same thing. And when you do the racing things, uh, the guy from Fast and Furious, what's his name? Paul? That guy unfortunately died because his Porsche crashed into a tree. And that Porsche is notoriously hard to drive it has no traction control it is meant for the racetrack so he skidded out of the control and he lost his life unfortunately i'm comparing that to the broker auto liquidation stop loss if you do not have that traction control on for your account you may end up blowing up your entire account hitting a damn tree okay it's not worth it it's not fucking worth it turn that shit fucking on tell the broker that you want to have auto liquidation set up you do not want a situation where your trash and control is gone from your car it may be fun to get into revenge trading and work your way out but that's not a viable repeatable strategy for you to live guys so hey welcome aboard alex i i, I gave a very good example of um, auto liquidation broker level back loss comparing it to turning off your traction control for your car and that's how um Fast and Furious, unfortunately, that Paul, you know, he lost his life because he turned off traction control, right? So, but, um, but yeah, man, getting back to the Twitter. So, a lot of the Twitter guys, they, they are, first of all, most of them are fucking scammers. You don't know who they are. They're anonymous and they just like to troll, guys. Uh, I'm fucking real. You know where I live. You see, you know, I mean, I, dude, I walk around the streets. I, I, we do meetups. And so I, I hate the fact that a lot of the Twitter guys are getting to new members' heads and new traders' heads. They, they, they make people doubt because they are haters and they're jealous. I, have, I don't want to get in that, obviously, but I wanted to let you know how to use Twitter to make money, not to lose money. You use Twitter to make money by searching on the symbol. So when, when a stock pops up and you do not have a news feed or your news feed doesn't show the catalyst, the reason why, what I do is I take, I, I take the ticker of the symbol, I put a dollar sign, you know, that's the, uh, that's the indication for FinTwit, financial Twitter. So you search uh, Twitter and it'll pop up everything. You sort it by the latest. And that's how you find news and callous and reasons why it's moving. But be, be very careful because some of these guys are lying. That's the reason why all that stuff, guys. So you, but the fact that I've, I've been using this for a long time and that's one of, our, one of my secret weapons. Twitter can be used as a powerful research tool. You can research a lot of things, but you have to think 
that is this a real research paper or is it some guy trying to pump and dump? So you can use it for good or you can use it to get scammed yourself. So be very careful. Another thing is to learn how to trade. Think about this. Not many people are teaching you how to trade correctly. If they did, they would be making money. And a lot of these guys, they post one chart that they don't, you don't hear from them for a week and then they only post good looking charts. And you think to yourself, damn, I must suck as a trader. This guy must be the best trader in the world because he never makes a mistake. He never loses. His charts are perfect. There are no issues. And then you wonder like, does he ever lose? If, he, if he's this good, he should be a billionaire. If he's not a billionaire, like what's going on, right guys? So a lot of it is smoke and mirrors. These guys, to, uh, social media is meant to show off. You can have a fake persona and have no accountability. And that's what happens with the trolls, guys. There is no accountability with the trolls. So be very careful on who you listen to. So if you're trying to learn a, a strategy, learn that fucking strategy. Don't, don't listen to another person just because they posted that one day a giant p and I see a lot of times a guy posts a giant p and and everybody starts to pull him and start asking questions. And then they're like, dude, what about all the all the stuff you've been learning? Just because one guy posts a giant P and L doesn't mean you're gonna jump off what you're doing and jump onto him, right? You can look, but his strategy is gonna be different than yours. His process will be different than yours. And I see a lot of people trying to mix and match strategies and all this kind of stuff, guys. And that's not going to work, okay? You cannot look at someone's P and L and then all of a sudden try to replicate it. First of all, you have to become consistent first. So I see people doing all these. The new thing now is system trading, data system trading. You know, I'm not discretionary anymore. I am not a random discretionary. I mean, dude, first of all, how much, how many millions you plan to make? <laughs> you know, just because you have a system doesn't mean it's a winning system. So be very careful what you mean. So the second of all is in order to trade well, you have to understand the fundamentals and the basics of trading. So the first step is to learn and understand fundamentals. Second is to have the bankroll to trade that system. These system traders have a big bankroll because it's a big drawdown. They have, you know, three to one risk reward, whatever, with 40% win rate. So most of the time they are taking losses, taking haircut losses, whatever. But these haircut losses add up. You need a bankroll. And so as a new trader, this is my advice to you guys, as a new trader, as a new trader, it is very important that you start with the foundations. It is very important that you do not fall for these advanced strategies because we, you will get confused. First of all, you don't even know what, 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 what the technical analysis is. How can you do these advanced strategies, right guys? So start with the fundamentals. And then what happens is this. What you need to do is pick a strategy that's a high winning rate. It may not make money, much money. It will make money because it's a high winning rate, right? It makes money as long as you have good risk management. But the, the reason I like to teach beginning traders high win rate strategies first because it's it boosts your confidence boosts your morale because you know what the, the high win rate ones are the easiest strategies it's the most simple strategies that's why they have the win rate but you're not gonna make a million dollars in one click you can but but most likely you won't in one click that's why it's a high win rate right you take the quick moves but what that does is this guys it builds your confidence it teaches you how to day trade it shows you the market action and it actually encourages you by by giving you instant gratification so that you can continue on because it, let's say you, you're a beginning trader guys and you lose five times in a row you're gonna stop trading you're gonna start looking for another system and that's how you guys are so stupid on Twitter I see the new guys so stupid they are so thirsty they want to suck a biggest dick out there and their mouth is always open please stick your dick in my mouth whoever has the biggest p l that day and so you never become consistent guys okay we're gonna probably cut, edit that out but that was a very dirty thing i said but that's that's what when i look at that i'm just shaking my head like these guys are just like fucking like they would they would go down on whoever has the biggest p l that day and so and then they start to lose and then they move on from one strategy to another strategy you have to you have to stick to something that that has been proven to be effective such as the mic strategy is a high win rate strategy it fucking works stick to it because the more wins you string along the more you learn 
the better you're gonna, you, the more passion you're gonna have. Imagine if, if you go out to a bar and the first three girls you meet is rejecting you, calling you ugly, and you already hit your max daily loss for the day at the club, right? <laughs> and, the, and one girl throws a drink on you. You are going to be devastated because that's your first entry in the club and you be have a PTSD, post-traumatic you know, stress disorder because... And then the next time you try to go to a club, you're shaking. You don't know what to do. And so, you you know, you're screwed. That same thing with trading, guys. That is the same thing with freaking trading. If you are a new trader and you, and you go for these high reward, low win rate, you will fucking burn out. You will, you will think trading is a scam. You will think trading is gambling. And you will make the mistakes that a lot of people like myself included made. Including Alex made when we started trading. We thought trading was gambling that we're going to make a million dollars the first fucking year. You know, and then we blow up. You need to be encouraged. It's the same thing with the slot machine, guys. The slot machine is this. Same kind of concept. Slot machine is a high payout. It's like a 97%, right? So the... The slot machine keeps like two to three percent edge, so they pay you out ninety seven percent, but you lose three percent. So it's attrition, right? You lose over time. Over time, you keep playing the slot machine, you will fucking lose. The ones that win are the ones that make money and get the fuck out. But they do that on purpose. Every time you win, the lights go up. Ding 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 ding. This is where your dopamine is. Okay, you get fucking endor endorphins, dopamine. It's the instant gratification of the lights, and that's how people get addicted to slot machines. They want that, that feeling of, fuck, I just fucking won. You know, that keeps you continuing. Imagine you sit on a slot machine and it's reversed. There's only 3% payout. You fucking, you keep hitting it for one hour, all you did was lose, lose, lose. You will never, ever come back to the casino, never, ever play the slot machine again, okay? And that's the same thing. Do not start with these high reward low win rate strategies if you're a brand new trader unless you have a big ass bankroll and unless you have a huge confidence in your system that you can go huge drawdowns until you get that payday okay you will lose hair you have death by a million cuts that's what it is you can ask all the expert guys they will agree with you it's not easy as it looks Okay, the ones that are doing this for a long time, they have a confidence in the system that, that, that they will keep doing the system because they know the system works over time. But short term, it may not work because you may lose three or four in a row. And those three or four haircuts will hurt your account if you do not have good risk management, if you have a smaller bankroll and you will, you will not, you would, you would get fucking so sick of trading because you, you wake up and you go, holy shit, dude, I lost again. My mom's going to kill me. My sister's going to kill me. My girlfriend will kill me, right? And so that's what you do, man. Uh, it's I call it leveling up. You have to level up correctly. So, like, I mean, dude, these guys are wanted to exponential, make their returns exponential. What, what, what do they call that? Uh, uh, fuck, man. They want to keep doubling their account each win, right? I mean, what, what, what is that? They want to compound. A, co a compounding system where, oh man, in this month I tripled my account because I'm compounding my wins. That's bullshit. Compounding fucking strategies is a race towards zero unless you know what the fuck you're doing. As much as you compound it, you can lose all your money. But the thing is, is get rich. it's a get rich mentality. But the problem is, I mean, they'll blow up and you guys will never trade again. So I, my advice once again High win rate, guys, to start because what a high win rate is, it teaches you how to trade initially. You will get that reward system that keeps you want to go. And at the same time, you're not going to lose as much money, guys, because there's a high re win rate. If you stop out correctly, you learn risk management, you will, you know, and over time, you can refine it and make it more money. But that's, that's the reason why I teach what I teach. You know, there's many different ways to do it, guys. You know, within that kind of high win rate, you can still hold half. That's what I do. It's recycling, uh, channel trading. There's many different ways once you get advanced that you can make a very lucrative living from this, guys. Alex is waiting. Alex made three million, one million this year already. You're using the same strategies we teach you guys. And how did he start? Everybody starts the same way, guys. Level up. It's like, it's like we are the college, but bef but before you go to college, you must learn arithmetic multiplication tables things like that they don't just show throw you into calculus class and it's the same thing with training you have to level up correctly guys so any questions guys i'm gonna take some questions now before we uh
before we get off. I hope that makes sense. You have to learn to level up. Using Twitter is a great research tool, great way to meet people. I met Alex, Tosh, and a bunch of people uh, online through Twitter. So Twitter is great, but also Twitter can be very, very harmful to your to yourself, man. They have a lot of trolls and you don't know what their their intentions are and they confuse you. If you're a new trader, it's very confusing. Who do I, who do I believe? You know, man, you're gonna believe a loser or you're gonna believe the guy that the loser is trolling? You know, that's the thing. So, and I post my trades every fucking day in MIC. I may, I may post them less on Twitter now because I'm getting annoyed <laughs> with Twitter and then, you know, give some more value to MIC. But if you see my charts, they're real. They are, they're ugly, so they must be real. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of cool, huh? You want all right, any questions, guys? Uh, Mustang, we don't know what's going to happen with Elon and Twitter. So, just, you know, they claim they're going to be more free speech, but let's see. The first bounce is a great high high reward. The first bounce, the true first one, not the second one, is a big, is is a it's a good risk reward. It's it's it may not be as high of a win rate because you don't know where the bounce is unless you do it right. I, I, it seems like I do it right, but I've been doing this for a long time, right? Uh, but it's a big reward because what the, if it's a bouncing stock, you can have multiples of your risk as a reward. So it is a higher reward. But if you do it right, guys, it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, 50-50 to make, it's like a two and a half to one is my guess. Any other questions, guys? Oh, I'll, I'll see you guys back in the room. Anybody want to come on? Say hello. Raise your hand. You guys want to come on? It's been a long time. Otherwise, um, I'm going to get back to trading because I have some open orders out. I'm really curious where, where all these stocks are, guys. So, How do you have courage to execute tra uh, strategy? Guys, so this is the thing that a lot of people have been copying me. There's one guy that makes... Uh, trading uh, interview with videos, he copied me too. It's called a fantasy order. I came with this concept. You know, you leave the fantasy orders a limit order outside of your range, uh, uh, and then if it hits, it hits, and that's how you get over the fear of of losing FOMO and all that. FOMO can be cured in many ways, guys. One way I've taught is to use a fantasy order. You put your orders out there, and so you sit back, you see what executes. So you're not busy uh, chasing. So you're not chasing because your orders are out there. If you miss, you miss. But if you hit it there, it's going to be highly effective because you thought about this is your fantasy order. You thought about it before it got there. If it got there, you want it. But the problem is people get scared by the time it comes to execute. And they're not going to shake their finger and then they're going to, you know. And so I may make another one on fantasy orders because this guy made a really shitty one. They copy my whole fucking shit on that, and that's how you um, you cure yourself from being scared. And that, and having a stop loss, uh, max daily loss at the broker lever has stopped me from being scared of walking around in life, enjoying life. Because there's a stop. If some shit happens, psh, I hit my stop loss. So call your broker, max daily loss broker, auto li liquidation will help you prevent yourself from blowing up, and that that has helped me tremendously over the years. So what, let's see, what other question you guys got? Um, Europe, Europe, um, if anybody in Europe, uh, Steven uh, is traveling and he has a Berlin meetup this Saturday, guys. So look into our Twitter, look into our Instagram, uh, MIC Instagram. I posted up the Berlin meetup on Steven. So you can have a, hit up our travel trader, Steven. Cool, guys. I'm going to let you go. Make it short and sweet. I'll see you guys back and I'll, tomorrow. New member orientation, guys, at 2 p.m. market time. I'll be there to help you guys and do live trading along with Tosh. All right, guys. See you guys.